Hello, welcome to this video. So this is our video on uh, Pokemon Snap. So we were playing it on the emulator before. We don't have N64 at the moment, we sold that. But uh, we do have a Wii U. Actually, they don't have it on the Switch. If they would have had a Pokemon Snap on the virtual console of the Nintendo Switch, we would have bought that. But I guess uh, the only way to play Pokemon Snap besides an emulator would be to have an N64 or a Wii U. Pokemon Snap costs uh, $10 to buy it. So we thought, might as well just buy it for 10 bucks then, <clears throat> so we could play Pokemon Snap. So the main problem with the emulator is that uh, the pictures didn't really come out too good. So the pictures don't really look good, so I'm hoping they fix this. So this on the virtual console came out in the year uh, 2017. So that's actually recently. We didn't even uh, know this came out on the Wii U. <clears throat> but now Pokemon Snap's coming on the Switch. We should check it out. So let's uh, hope it looks a lot better and hope we don't uh, waste $10 on basically the same thing that the emulator would have. So these videos are going to take a lot longer to render. The uh, emulator we can just play and upload here. We have to render the 30 minute video for like an hour, an hour and a half. But here's Pokemon Snap. So we can play this for a bit before the new game comes out on the Switch. Everything seems to be working. So here's the introduction scene and uh, Mew comes out of the corner, right? Yeah, so we basically uh, played this game and completed it up to the point where we can go to Mew. So there he is, cool. <clears throat> so we'll be able to catch him hopefully at this version. Ah, the pictures should come out. That's the main thing. You can play this game 100% free on the emulator, <clears throat> but it wouldn't be a great game. So let's uh, start the game then. The title screen uh, still looks messed up. The title screen still looks messed up. Hopefully it actually lets us uh, take pictures of the things. It's the main reason we bought this, is so we get to the end of the game. So the title screen is still messed up. So let's just put our name in again. Ky Gabio. How do we go back? Hello there, I'm Oak, the Pokemon Professor. <clears throat> the reason I invited you here is the Pokemon Report. I'd like for you to take the pictures of Pokemon for the Pokemon Report. So maybe the uh, text looks a little bit better? Here on Pokemon Island, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. This is my new invention, the Zero One Vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One Vehicle constantly moves towards the Gold Gate. Shall I repeat this information? So I'll press uh, no, thank you. I'll teach you how to take pictures of the first course. I'm counting on you, KY Gabio. Press A to do it. What a sunny beach. Looks great. I should get some awesome shots here. Should I take this course? <coughs> so if the pictures don't look any better, it's exactly like playing on the emulator. There's no reason to buy this thing then, right? So how do we actually uh, take pictures then? Because this is what we were using to uh, zoom in. Okay. Oh. That's A to shoot. Try to take a lot of Pokemon pictures. This was near the emulator. Okay. And then a red circle appears in the middle when you're facing a Pokemon. So this is a lot better than the emulator. Alright. It already is a lot better. So the thing that we want to do is uh change the controls. <clears throat> we want to change the controls a little bit. So we can uh, leave the curse orally if we want, right? We can sit here, take some pictures. And the pictures do actually look a lot better out here. So the pictures do look better here than they do in the emulator. It's just going to be hard to get used to this uh, control pad. So here's the duo. We could use that picture. So we get a much better picture of them. Three pictures of Pikachu. So we use this picture of Pikachu looking up at the duo. And then uh, one picture of Butterfree. So Butterfree doesn't have the uh, black wigs that he did on the emulator. <coughs> so that's something I guess. Show this picture to Professor Oak. So the main point of this game is you go through taking pictures of Pokemon, and then you try to go through try to take uh, better pictures of Pokemon. So here's Pidgey. The closer the, uh, the closer you are to the Pokemon, the more points you'll get. And depending on the pose, he likes it. 1,000 points. He says it's a very nice pose. And the technique, if you get him right in the middle of the picture, he will double the points, right? Yep. And if there's other Pokemon in the back that are the same species, I think. How did we get 220 points for having a Pidgey in the back? It doesn't give that much usually. Usually it's like 10 or 20. 
There's a tiped what they're doing in the back too. Wonderful. So we almost got three thousand points for a pitchy. So here's the duo. How's the size? Three fifty points. So we can get a better one. We already got a better one before the See technique. <coughs> so isn't it the center, right? So because it's not in the center, we don't get double points. And Pikachu here. So three ten points. We can get a much better picture of Pikachu once we get the apple there, right? So he's not even in the center. That's because uh, we wanted to go to controls and change our controls. So Butterfree doesn't have the uh, black boxes around his wings anymore. You find out what the next two courses are if you take uh, two more Pokemon pictures. All right. <clears throat> so the thing that we have to do. Also, don't uh, turn off your system or. Make your computer crash, try to play with the settings or anything. You have to actually save your game manually because uh, there is no auto save. So you want to go back to the main menu here. And then we just want to go to options. So the front screen is still messed up. It still doesn't look as good as it does on the Nintendo 64. So you want to go to options. Unless the screen is still messed up on the Nintendo 64. Maybe it is. So want to go to a control stick setup and put it to normal. I'll just make it uh, easier to actually take pictures of Pokemon. So now that everything is set up, now we can continue the game. Alright. She's been waiting for us to expect us to take more pictures. So let's just go to the first course here yes. and just take as many uh, pictures of Pokemon as we can. Even that uh, map screen looks messed up on the Wii U Virtual Console. So that's not the picture button. This is the picture button. Let's take a picture. Alright. So it's a little bit different, <coughs> just because we're using a different controller than we were just in the last episode. But we should actually be able to take pictures of the sides, right? Good picture of Pikachu there. So I think even uh, taking the pictures is easier for some reason. This seems a lot smoother on the Wii U console anyways. Seems a lot smoother on here <coughs> compared to the emulator. Everything does move a lot smoother. Sure, now would move even smoother on the actual Nintendo 64 though, wouldn't it? So there's Meowth up here. <coughs> we get a good picture of a... Uh, oh, it says a uh, Meowth new. I don't think it said uh, that in the emulator too. So maybe the Wii U uh, is a step up from that. So we can't get Scyther, we found out how to get Scyther last time. We, we have to uh, get Pester Balls, and we throw Pester Balls in here, and then Scyther will come out. So if you don't know uh, how we found out all of this, you can just watch the uh, episode of the uh, once we play the emulator. Because <coughs> we do the exact same thing that we're doing now, except this is probably better quality. So Lapras doesn't come out, <coughs> we don't know how to get Lapras to come out. I imagine it would be we get the flute at some point. So that's a good picture of Butterfree. Oh, Doduo. So the best picture of Doduo when he's coming out at the second spot is what we found out. Here's Chad C, right? We can't get him yet, so it says question mark. So we did get Eevee, so we can try to get a good picture of Eevee here, right? So it seems with the red dot shows you when he's in the middle. So we get a picture of Lapras yet? I didn't even see him anywhere. So we have to get a better picture of him, uh, what he's facing us later. We can get a good picture of the uh, Pidgey Gusting Meowth, right? So I take a picture of uh, this Pidgey here, right? And it actually shows the whirlwind going off. I knew there was something missing. I thought a whirlwind went off, actually. So that's cool. The Wii U console, the whirlwind actually goes off. All right, then the pictures will look a lot better, right? So we took a lot of pictures. 47 pictures to be exact. Use my album bark to save my favorite pictures in the album. All right, so we can actually uh, save pictures of the album that we want, even if they're not the uh, highest scoring ones. So I actually will try to give him that one. Maybe that's probably a pretty decent duo pick. So we got uh, really good pictures of uh, Oh, uh, whoops. <coughs> really good pictures of Pikachu here, right? Which one's the better one, though? Probably this one. So his face does look... Wait a minute. His face is still messed up a little bit. It still does have the scan lines. Pictures do look a little better. 
I guess so. So did we catch uh, Butterfree with his face, I guess? Yeah. So this would probably be a really good Butterfree picture. At least the black things around those are gone. But once we get the food, I bet the uh, black boxes around the food would be gone. So here's Eevee jumping. Then Keg is gone, just uh, sitting in the back because we can't take a picture of it from the front quite yet. Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> we got a picture of a uh, Pidgey Gusting. Four pictures of the owl. So we'll try this one. Although he's facing his back towards us, so it probably would be a good picture. So we gotta find the one where we put a Pidgey. Then we have to take that out. Alright, then we have to go all the way to the end. To get the uh, Gusting Pidgeys, right? So what would be the best one to get? Maybe this one. Alright. So I believe that's like everything we got, right? Then we just go to Professor Oak. They would tell him to grade these pictures for us. Then we should have caught 2D Pokemon, which would allow us to go to the next stage. <coughs> so we're also going to have to set up these uh, wires and everything. We just set up the uh, Wii U <coughs> a while ago. To do this picture of the Pokemon report already, but this would be a better picture, right? The size is slightly bigger, but the, uh, oh, the pose is worse? You were close. But he should be in the middle of the frame, so that would uh, double the points, right? Oh, no, it didn't. He wasn't in the middle of the frame. Alright, so we do got Pikachu here, though. This one definitely would be bigger. Better. He's a little bit bigger. His, uh, pose is a lot better. The technique, yeah, is in the frame. Yep. Well 2,400. So we could definitely get a better Pikachu picture later. And then uh, Bialth here, right? He's gonna be facing away. Oh, but it didn't see the batter. Wonderful. Work is impeccable, keep up the good work. So 1,400. We could definitely get a better Bialth picture in the future. So this is probably a really, really good Butterfree picture then. 450 points. The pose is 1,000. And Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame. I could double it, 2,900. And then there's a Butterfree in the back, right? So this is uh, high scoring, <coughs> 340 points for the Butterfree in the back, perfect. Well done. So over 3,000 points. The, the Eevee picture, this is Eevee. We could probably get a better picture if we feed him, I think. Oh no, 1,000 points, he likes that post. Then we got him in the middle of the picture, right? 2,900. So we could just maybe get a better size or something. The keg is gone, 550. So he's facing away, right? <coughs> it disappoints Pokemon to be photographed from behind. So you have to get food. Yeah, wow, is it this Gust using Pidgey? Gust using Pidgey have a value of 500 points. Pidgey's picture of the Pokemon report ready. How is the size? 240 points. So the size is smaller. You were close. Would have been better if it were a larger shot. Your last shot was better. What? <coughs> it wasn't in the middle, though. And we didn't get saved Pokemon? So you have to figure out how to get a better uh, gusting picture. Her picture at the beginning is a lot better. Almost 3,000 points. Oh, we got seven different kinds. So now, <coughs> we go back to the lab. You're doing a fine job, keep boy Gabio. Choose go to course. Press A to do it. Alright, we can go to the next course now. So we go to the tunnel. There used to be a power plant with this log, dark tunnel. I can't wait to check it out. Should I take this course? Let's go. Now we gotta unlock everything again, right? So that's not the picture button. So you have to wait for the electrode to blow up over there. <coughs> and then Pikachu, we get a better picture of the surfboard. We already have, to have food or anything. So I think one of those pictures would have been good. I think you can take uh, pictures faster too of this. Maybe you can't. Oh, we did get him. So you can even tell what it's centered on the Pokemon because of that dot. So we did get Kakuda. It says uh, he was tracked. Oh. I think we got some more Kakuda picks. And then we already know that Zubat comes out of here, right? If you don't know why uh, Zubat comes out, you would miss him. 
I think there's a better zoo bat picture later though, right? I think there's a hunter over here, the Pikachu. Is that probably a better Pikachu pick? The hunter over here. There's another zoo bat that comes out anyways. We also found out there's a Magikarp in the uh, lava level for some reason. So that's probably a good Zubat pick. Here's another Hunter over here. I think one of those pictures was really good. I like the buzz, he's facing away. We'll have to get him to face us later. There's a Diglett. Oh, let's move over here. So that's probably a good, decent Diglett pick. Now what else was at this stage? <clears throat> so I wonder if we're actually going to be able to light this up because you can't light it up on the emulator. Or maybe you can, you just wouldn't be able to take a picture. So you can't take a picture of you and you, we have to blow up. So we have to go through this round again. You're just going to be a mystery. You won't be able to tell what it is. All right, so I guess that's the second stage done. <coughs> we could just come back, go right through here. We could even end the course if we want. But we'll just let it go, I guess. Or we could just end it, right? There's nothing more we could do. We could quit the course to uh, end the course quicker. Forty-one pictures have been taken. <coughs> All right, so here's the uh, exploding electrode. I wonder if that other one's better. Maybe this one. It's got five pictures of Kakuda. We got Kakuda right here, right? We got Zubat. We got lots of good pictures of Zubat. Maybe the uh, second one would be better. That's probably a pretty decent one. That Haunter. Maybe right there is a really good one. Did we get a good picture of Pikachu later? No. <clears throat> it's got one of Diglett, so I guess uh, Pikachu, we would use one of these ones, right? He's not in the center. We'll check that. It's just like an angry Pikachu. And we got a uh, Electabuzz, so we got two pictures of Electabuzz. So we'll probably use this one. Four pictures of Diglett. Right, this one. That's it, right? Megabyte wouldn't come out of the picture. <clears throat> so it looks like we have everything here. So we got some new uh, pictures to show Professor Oak. Yes. So you can see what's new this time. So we got Electrode. So pretty much uh, every single one we got would be a new one, right? 770 points. How's the pose? It exploded 1,200. All right. And it is in the middle. So that's uh, almost a uh, 4,000 point electrode we got. Then the Kakuda, so we got size 220. You're close, but it would have been better if it were a larger shot. We didn't even uh, get it in the middle or anything. Or maybe if it's not large enough, maybe you can't get that. So here's Pikachu compared to our old one. Is this a better one? The size is a little bit bigger, and the pose is the same. So this one's a little bit better than the first picture we got. And let's see about here. Did we uh, center it? 320 for the size. 1,000 points for this pose. So he likes that flag pose. He uh, isn't in the middle. <clears throat> so if he was in the middle, we would have been able to double our points. So Hunter has 410 size. So that's probably a decent size for him. Pose is 800 points. So he says it's very nice. The technique says it is right in the middle. So he doubles it for us. 2,420. All right, so I wonder if we can get uh, like a 3,000 score for every single Pokemon. So that's not gonna be a good one because he's facing away, right? 370, that's it. And here's Diglett. It's trying to go underground. You get 1,000 points. And it uh, is in the middle. All right, 2,640 points. So he will say the results. 13 different kinds of Pokemon, 25,000 points. 
You take pictures at a good pace to make your work easier. Here is a present for you. It'll come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to be closer with Pokemon? Then use this apple-shaped Pokemon food. It's easy to use. When you're not focusing your camera, press A to throw it. Pokemon in the distance will happily come closer when you use this item. If you want to throw farther, look up slightly, then throw. Here's a hint for you. Throw some Pokemon food to an electrode that's not moving and see what happens. So he explodes, right? Good luck, KY Gabio. Shall I repeat this information? Uh, please no. So it's weird, they s <clears throat> put it on the same button as A, so you tap an A to go through it, then you ask if you want to repeat it, so you press A, and then he repeats it. <laughs> so let's just go to the title here, unlock the second level. That's not the picture button. We're just so used to uh, Z being the picture button. So all we have to do is unlock, <coughs> unlock the secret course at the end by blowing up the electrode over there. She told for oh we actually got a oh, almost did. He was facing us for a slight second. So he actually uh, faces you at the beginning. Then he slows us down, right? We ran into him, so we stopped. So I think we actually got a Kikuda, but we were facing away from him. So there we go. <coughs> we got a bunch of pictures of him. Hopefully, they'll turn out better. Does Pikachu do anything if we uh, bring him over here, maybe? Because we were thinking about that. We could figure out what to do with this uh, thing. Is he going to shock him? Maybe we need a Pester Bob or something. But there is a Magikarp here, right? There's a Magikarp pretty much in like uh, all of the waters. So we need to get a picture where we center on the Zubat. I think we got it. Does he do anything if we uh, throw apples over here, baby? No, he doesn't even react to them. These guys turn out their sides if you throw apples on them, right? That one will say Diglett and Pikachu. This one will say Big Debate and Food. Oh, we get a picture of them. Big Debate and Food. So that's a hit. Big Debate and Food. They'll be able to take pictures of them, right? If we put them all together, they'll become a Magneton, right? Should just go to the secret place, though. <coughs> if we do that, he'll explode. So I'd be able to get a picture of him. Oh, Magnemite. That's how we get to the next level. Alright. Everything should come right all right. <clears throat> We're just wondering if uh, hopefully the video comes all right <clears throat> and hopefully the audio comes all right. It looks like it does. We just keep uh, changing how we record things. So we got a really good picture of Electabuzz later. He's facing away from us. He's facing away from us. So let's see if that one was good. So let's try this one, right? He's directly in front of us. That's probably as big as he could be. So about uh, Magikarp. So that was probably the best one. Zubat. So we can see if we got a better picture of Zubat. Not sure if he's at the center of it. He's at the center of that one, right? They were taking a bunch of pictures of Hotter and tried to get a really bigger picture. So that's probably an amazing picture. Then Pikachu, we got <coughs> a couple pictures of Pikachu. Dead Electabuzz, right? We got one where he's facing us. So it'll probably be that one or this one. He would say it's funny, right? 
So that's probably a good picture. We just threw the apple at him, but he would say it's funny. So we gotta make the bites. So we'll try that one, just because he's uh, not facing us in that picture. Then let's go to Professor Oak. Then let's see if he says any of these pictures are good. So let's do it this time. <laughs> we got Kakuna. Did we uh, center hit this time? Size is worse. You were close. Oh. So how do we get a good picture of Kakuna then? So it's electrode it should be the size should be, what the size is 450. You were close. So I guess we have to get a more in view then. So here's magic carp 450. So it's splashed 800 points. So we can get a better uh, pose than that somewhere. Pokemon is in the middle 2,500. So that's an all right magic carp pick. Zubat. So we we're just trying to get a Zubat to the middle, right? So I guess we need to get a certain size before you can even count it. So our other one was much better. So here's hot dirt. So the size, oh, 1,000. All right. <clears throat> so you can actually get 1,000 points. We were wondering about that. Is uh, 1,000 points the max for the size? Maybe it is. Pose is 750. So he's doing a better pose before. And if he's in the middle of the frame, then it'd be better than our other one by over 1,000 points. All right. We got a good hotter picture. And Pikachu. This one uh, might be better, right? The size is a little bit better. The pose is the same. And if he's in the middle of the frame, we have 200 more points. So we just got a better Pikachu picture. And then, I like the buzz. <laughs> so this would definitely be a better picture because he's facing us, right? How's the pose? 750 points. It's so so. How's the technique? It is in the middle of the frame. Alright. Well done. 2400. There we got a picture of Peg the Bite, because we got the food. <coughs> 260 points. It sure is happy. So if you uh, feed them with the food and they eat it, that's an 800 points pose. Alright. So it is in the middle. So that's a good, uh, decent Peg the Bite picture. Oh, and he uh, actually picked up the other Peg the Bite in the background. An extra 200 points. Alright. I got 50 different kinds of Pokeball. It says, uh, return back to the lab. So we must have uh, caught enough Pokemon. Welcome back. <coughs> oh no, we opened up the secret course, that's right. We found a split in the path, according to my research. That split should uh, link to a new course. I've also made a link for my lab. You should go right away. Alright, so we would uh, be able to go to the next course yeah. here. So considering everything, right? We have like two minutes. <coughs> We'd want to save it. So we'll just go to the course here. We'll go through the volcano course once. Oh, that's not the uh, picture button. So if you actually uh, throw food here or something, they may. We found that out when we were uh, going through the game again. <clears throat> Just because if you don't actually save, it doesn't uh, auto save the game. So if you get Vulpix over here with the other two Vulpixes, maybe, we get three Vulpixes. That'd be something to do, right? We just have to navigate them here, then uh, take pictures somehow. That's not the thing. We're not gonna be able to get good pictures of him. Maybe that was it. I think we got enough of him. <laughs> so there is other Pokemon here. We got Rapid Ash, we got Volpix. So do we have to chase him all the way to the end of baby? So there's a bag bar, we can get a better bag bar picture though. That this one's easy, right? We just have to knock it off the edge. I think there's chair batters, right? <coughs> so let's just get this ultras here. So we have to get it when it's doing uh, this move here, right? Something like that. Maybe throw apples here, they'll fight. I think there's fighting big bars. There we go. Eh. <clears throat> so I believe at least we got the picture of the Charbadger. We'll have to get better ones. 
So we get a Charabelian here. And then Charizard comes out of here. We know that one. Okay. There is a Magikarp here, right? So throw this into the water, a Magikarp comes out. Oh, we didn't throw it in the water. There he goes. <coughs> We're probably going to add the cores before we get him. But that was supposed to be Charizard right there. So I don't think we've ever actually messed that up. I think we're just trying to get a good picture of Charbelian. That was the priority there. We can come back for Charizard later. But we got some uh, rapid ash picks of a uh, Dig, right? Yep. So we do that one or this one? Let's do this one. And we got some ball fixes with uh, more of them, right? But he's not in the center. So maybe that one's really good. And then the big bars when they're fighting, right? We gotta get a chair batter pick at the end, maybe. So what, uh, this one or this one? Probably this one. Not sure if he's in the center of the picture, though. So we got two big bars fighting. We got a really good picture of Charmeleon. And I guess uh, this picture would be the best Charmander picture we got. That's everything. Alright. So we'll just turn these pictures in, see how these turned out. Rapid Ash. <coughs> so he says 430, so that's the alright size. Oh, it's day egg, 1,200 points. So if you get to throw some food and get it today, it's 1,200 points. Any technique. So he's right in the middle of the frame, so he can double it 3,260. And yeah, there should be another Rapid Ash in the back, right? I'll give you an extra 130 points. Alright. Over 3,000 points for the Rapid Ash. The Vulpix is here. 720 points. That's actually a really good size then. And the pose looks happy. 1,000 points. So him being happy gave uh, more points than the other one. <coughs> Maybe it's a different. Maybe he's just a different type of happy because he's putting his two for a pause up, but he gave us 1,000 points for that, and uh, he is in the middle of the frame, and there's going to be another Vulpix in the background, right? An extra 180 points, so perfect. And Charmander, we could probably get a better Charmander pick, right? He's pretty small, so he says the pose is alright, and he says uh, he isn't even in the middle of the frame. Because of his size, I think his size has to be a certain uh, size before he's actually in the middle. So the size is 820, so that's a very nice size for him. The pose, what a wonderful pose, 1350, so that's pretty good. And if he's in the middle, it'd be over 4000. So he is in the middle. Alright, so that's a really good Ultras pick. Wow. That is, that is the Fighting Bagbar. Fighting Bagbar has a value of 800 points size is only 200 it's unstable 800 points oh how's the technique Pokemon is in the middle of the frame so that's over 3,000 points there's is another big bar yeah because he's fighting him right so that's all right over 4,000 points for the big bar so I think we have to get a certain amount of points before we can unlock something so here's Charmeleon so his size should be 490 pretty big 1,000 points. So he does like the pose that he's in right now. But he is in the middle. So we didn't quite, uh, we didn't quite break 3,000 for him. But that's probably a decent Charmeleon pick. We could probably get a better one then. So we saved the results. 21 different kinds of Pokemon. 52,910 points. You'll find out what uh, the next course is if you take uh, one more Pokemon picture. So we, if we would have taken a picture of Charizard, we would have been able to go to the next course. But we did it, I Welcome guess. Back. Alright, so the thing is, if you don't save the game, and if you leave the game, it doesn't actually auto-save it, right? Alright, so we saved it. If you don't save it, the game doesn't auto-save, you'll lose everything. So just make sure you save everything before you quit. We'll just uh, end this, we'll figure out this is. This is going to take like an hour and a half to render, but we'll get some more Pokemon Snap.